Okay, yeah, there it's plugged in. It's got a little bit of reverb, I think a little bit of echo. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it's tuned a, a half step down. It might, be a, it might be a little bit out of tune, I don't know. Well, last time I played it was last Wednesday. What's today, Saturday? Yeah, just, I don't know what it is. It takes me a little bit to get used to, it, like when I go from that guitar mm -hmm. to my other one, because the neck's a little wider. Yeah, well this one is, uh what they call a dreadnought so it's a pretty big body it's a little bit bigger than your uh breed love here Now they ship it to you without a battery. It doesn't come with a battery for the electronics, but it just takes a nine volt battery. Yeah, I was looking for a video on this guitar and there wasn't one on the Hummingbird. There was one on the, uh, on the Dove. And all it said is that it was a laminate back and sides and they call these a studio. So so it's a Epiphone Hummingbird Studio, and the other one is an Epiphone Hummingbird Dove. Dove. But the only difference between these and, you know, the more expensive inspired by Gibson brand or whatever you call it, is that these sides and back are laminate. The front is still made of a solid, solid piece of, of Sitka or spruce or whatever they call it. And, oh, uh, this top is a uh, solid spruce. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all a solid piece, and the neck is a solid piece of uh, of uh, mahogany, but of course it's got that uh, scarf joint on the headstock, which keeps it from, bro from breaking, and let me attest to you that the Gibsons do break, okay? They do break. Don't ask me how I know, but trust me, they break. And, uh, yeah, look at the fit and finish. Look at the, look, look at the sides of it. Yeah. It's it's just a it's a well made guitar. It plays decently, and like I said, I've got a regular hummingbird in it. I don't detect uh, a huge difference, other than it may perhaps be psychological. I'm still questioning that. I've got the inspired by Gibson ES three thirty five, which I'm going to tell you right now plays for the money. It plays just as well as my Gibson three thirty five. But uh, I got this from Sweetwater for four forty nine, and it is a fantastic buy. It sounds uh, pretty good on the on the amp. Yeah, yeah, you can plug it into that Boss Cube down there. There should be a cord right there. You can plug it in and listen to it. It sounds fantastic. It's a great. In fact, plug it in. Turn on the turn on that amp. It should be right there. You should just be able to plug it in and turn it on. But, you know, the key was is having the neck adjusted on it and setting it up, you know, and we didn't do anything to the bridge. It's stock. The action feels pretty slinky, doesn't it? It's not too bad. And 
Oh, that's just a gorgeous instrument for the money, you know. <laughs>